There. Oh, I don't even wanna. I don't even wanna listen, bro. While the Twitch streamers were spreading their butt cheeks, guess what? Nadia even surpassed Mr. Beast. Bruh. I mean, damn it. Nadia's trending over on Twitter, and a lot of people are confused. A lot of people are like, yo, so, like, is she more strong and independent now? It seems like it, that she very well might actually be. And she ended up making this apology video. And I want to actually play this clip for you right in the beginning. Hit that like button if you're a man and you know that you're wrong, wrong. because you're a man. Check this out. If you're a man, this was... This is what happens over on Twitch? <laughs> you do this? Look at that. <laughs> See these jeans? These are dad jeans. Let me get that. He shot. got banned for that? Position. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's like crime being a man in this day and age. Homie started ear humping after winning in Call of Duty. And guess what? They banned this man over on Twitch. Dead ass. Hit that like button if you're a man. Subscribe. <laughs> we're gonna be rolling and we're gonna check out what happened to Nadia. Let's go ahead and it. give you guys a little bit of cliff notes so you can at least understand pretty much what happened and Damn. be able to have at least some sort of ground level knowledge as to what really went down in this entire debacle. So popular Call yeah. of Duty content creator Nadia has basically Popper. gotten into a pretty big controversy online. Now with Nadia, there's constant allegations of her cheating and hacking in video games and whatnot. It's probably, if we're being real, what she's- I, I wanna see how much of humanity is left out there that do not believe that she's cheating. W if you believe she's cheating, L if you think she's not cheating. Most famous for at this point. Like people are constantly accusing her of like using cheats in Call of Duty to basically yeah. grind content and be good at the game and you know, make it look like she's way better than she actually is. So she can have like an online following and whatnot and make money by- She's a she's a nine kitty player. Ah, uh, you're wrong, cause you're a man. Playing the game. Game. And this basically spilled over recently on her stream where somebody had donated her one dollar and said something along the lines of like have fun cheating or nice job cheating. You know, bro, a dollar? I don't even get pennies out here, bro. Yeah. Referring to the allegations that are constantly <laughs> being made against Nadia for basically playing COD. Now that's not really the focal point of today's video. I'm not here to prove or disprove the cheating allegations. We're actually here because yeah. of her response to the entire situation in the first place. So like I said, this guy comes along, he donates a dollar and We're says- We're here for a bigger reason. And the apology video that you're gonna see in a minute, that is just, that is chef kiss, okay? She uh, made an apology video without apologizing, bro. Like, that's some of the bumbo bum Nice job cheating. When Nadia actually got really mad about this, and a clip ended up going viral on social media of her basically doxing this guy. So what happens Damn. is, if you use PayPal, apparently it gives your full legal name attached to your PayPal account to whoever you send money to. And in this case, the troll used his personal PayPal account to send her the dollar donation, and she got pretty mad about him accusing her of cheating, and she read his full government name off on stream and even went Damn as far as to spell it out so people in her chat could look this guy's name up if they wanted to and get more information about him. It was obviously malicious. There's literally no other uh, reason. There are rumors that she actually leaked his address, but uh, that's just rumors and she actually confirmed that she didn't do that, so I believe in that. I don't think she has a, a dox his address. His or her address, I'm not sure, but but yeah, man. We'll Why you would see, share though. somebody's information like that and then go as far as to say something like, oh, here's how you spell his name in case anyone really wanted to know, right? Strong. Like that, It's pretty obvious what this was all about. She got mad because someone made a joke she didn't like that she's probably tired of hearing and so she essentially doxed the guy. And it's created this massive online debate of whether or not it was actually doxing or if it was right or wrong because she was only banned off of Twitch for a few hours because of this entire situation and that in and of it. This guy that I showed you that was ear humping, if I'm not mistaken, he was banned for seven days. Self has already become a completely new drama where people are chiming in on. But Nadia has uploaded a two and a half minute long video to her YouTube channel called Why I Got Banned on Twitch. Now in this video, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't really know what to expect, but if there were a few things- Ow, yo, yo, okay, listen, listen, boys, this is some of the biggest, this is gonna be crazy, y'all. I have seen the apology video. I have seen the apology video, and she does not apologize to anybody, anybody. She only apologized to one entity, but that's not a person. Like, you, you'll see what I mean, okay? She never apologized to anybody. Things I would probably hope her in this video. Obviously, I would think she has to apologize to the guy that she doxxed. There's really no excuse for doing what she did, and she never apologized. She never. <laughs> To that first one, you say, oh, hell no, nah. I'm strong, I'm independent, strong, strong, independent, strong, independent, strong, mm-mm. At the end of the day, even if the guy mm -mm. was trolling her, I don't think it was serious enough to read off his government name on stream over. Most people yeah. kind of seem to agree with that and be on that side in this entire situation, but at the same time, we gotta remember, this is an influencer slash content creator apology video, so at the end of the day, we've influencer. seen the same song and dance how many times now? I'm assuming that, if anything, there probably won't be that much addressal of the issue, and if there is any addressal of it, it's just gonna be basically deflecting what happened and pretending it wasn't that big of a deal. In today's video, I want to address something that happened to me this morning. I um I woke up this morning and 
happened. I got a knock from my roommate, Dante, telling me that I was banned on Twitch. I was very confused. I really didn't understand what happened. I mean, I just woke up and- Now, if this is to be believed, that's actually wild because I feel like she's speaking the facts right here. Now, before you're like, bruh, bruh wait for it, okay? Because here's the thing, man. There are a lot of streamers that find out from streamers.banned, whatever that Twitter handle is or on Twitter. The streamers would get banned. They wouldn't even know they got banned but they would find out through that twitter account and twitch would never tell you why they ban you and if you're a man bro you can get banned for ear humping to be honest i thought he was like pranking me for a second and which my phone the bunch of messages saying that i was banned i was terrified like i can't imagine what i do in two weeks of not streaming i love streaming i don't even like to take days off because how much i love it i look forward to this every day so when i saw that i genuinely was scared and it was probably one of the most terrifying moments of my life now, um, honestly i know that i might actually get canceled for saying this but i don't think anybody should be permanently Bruh. banned okay like not even nadia like yep she's accused of cheating and whatnot i don't i i feel like everybody deserves a second chance now if she's constantly cheating then that's another thing okay Le okay you know what let's not talk about cheating because like if you're constantly cheating then yeah in a way you deserve perma ban though like let me actually just Bumbuka. reverse you know but in this situation mistakes were happen i surely do agree with that but in this case i don't think she deserve a perma ban but she definitely deserve at least a 14 days banned but guess what the queen was unbanned after five hours and this man who was air humping gone for seven days and that Gideon guy if you're black perma ban Gideon actually said some bad stuff about pokemon he shouldn't have said that i totally agree with you those of you that are familiar and apparently Gideon made things very well behind the scenes and on camera with pokemon and i believe now they're kind of friends and they're probably cool with each other that's actually pretty wholesome that's like good to see that like yeah at one point you kind of called that person out and then you know what you accepted that yeah you're wrong, wrong. and you uh did actually committed the haram you committed some bad stuff and then you made tank square that's actually pretty good i i got respect for the homie but they actually threw that man in another dimension they perma banned his ass bro i got banned on twitch for 14 days and here's the reason i got banned wrong. for sharing personal information about somebody so i kept getting a donation that popped up my stream label is uh just for context she only got banned for five hours Bruh. five hours man and it was a person that was sending me hate and the name was anonymous and they did it four times i was confused because one i'm just like okay the first time you know i do get hate on donations sometimes because you know they think it's funny to just have it pop up on the screen and i, I usually do get that it, it is not new but I haven't had somebody do it four times. All right, so she's saying that this guy basically donated four times trolling her, sending her quote unquote hate. I just want to point- Bro, like, I, I've been on the internet for a little bit and let me tell you, like, sometimes it's more than 10 times, okay? Like, if somebody finds you, they start, you know what, you're just wrong, you're stupid. I, I don't want to say what they say, like, that's the internet, man. Four times, four times, and you let your guard down like that four times, and you just went bozo four times, and you started being like, I'm strong, I'm independent. Bro, here, like, we get the same comments like 10, 20, 30 times, and we still gotta be like, okay, bro, whatever, dude. Bruh. Bum -bum 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 you know, it wasn't really hate at the end of the day. Like, all the guy really said was have fun cheating. That was what was just fucking too far for her to hear. Which might I add, like I said, it's basically the thing that's gotten her famous at this point. Like, there would not be any Nadia if there wasn't cheating allegations. It's the true, biggest part true. of her online persona. And what's funny is, is to prove this, I even went to, like, her TikTok account. And she has, like, a shit ton of content on there. Where she's, like, playing into the joke of her cheating, you know? Like, she's editing yeah. on red boxes and stuff on the video to, like, kind of troll people and make it seem like she's cheating or whatever. So she can, like, farm impressions on social media and shit. So she she actively plays into this joke that she's like a cheater and she uses walls and boxes in the game and stuff like that to cheat. But then when someone donates her like four dollars in total over four donations being like, hey, have fun cheating. Nice job being a hacker. Apparently Bruh, like your homeboy could have used that money to get him like five, uh, four Big Macs or something like that, bro. Like y'all be y'all got way too much money. OK, you could have been growing Nesquik in the backyard. I mean, uh, OK, don't grow Nesquik in the backyard, but <laughs> but you know what I mean? You could have used that money. You could have invested that money in yourself. Four dollars. I don't even get pennies, y'all. I don't even get pennies. Okay, I get more than pennies, but, uh, but I don't get like pennies in, uh, in the tips or anything like that, bruh. 
that's just far enough at that point for her to go literally so full out that she doxes somebody. It just doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Like, I mean, you can't play into the joke and then simultaneously get upset that the joke is being made. Like, if you're gonna make social media content, especially in the gaming industry, you're gonna have people who hate on you and they're gonna accuse you of shit. And like in the Call of Duty community, cheating accusations are wild, dude. Like, yeah. everyone who plays the game gets accused Everybody. of cheating, you know? Like, I mean, dude, you can go into a random team deathmatch and get like 25 kills and so- If God came back to planet Earth, if God came to planet Earth and started playing Call of Duty, even God would be accused of cheating by these uh, toxic, problematic gamers. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's getting accused of cheating in this game. Like, god damn. Some seven-year-old will scream in the mic about how you're a hacker and call you the hard R. Like, it's just how the Call of Duty community is, bro. Like, you, you just get called a cheater regardless. Like, if you're good at yeah. the game, there's gonna be accusations. Like, it's just that simple. And Facts. I'm sorry, I, I just don't feel like four donations of somebody trolling you and, and literally giving you money at the same time, too, is worthy of going into the PayPal transaction, finding their government name, and then releasing that maliciously to your stream. Like, there, it's just not an excuse. And, like, she in the video, she's like, oh, well, I got banned for sharing personal information. It's like, yeah, that's literally what you did. You're wrong. wrong. Like, why? Why you banned me? Me. I did nothing wrong. wrong. Like I'm, 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 I'm strong. I'm independent. I could never do something bad. Like strong, independent, strong, independent, strong, independent. We're talking about like you didn't know that this situation happened, and then when people in your comment section on Twitter started calling you out for it and telling you what you did wrong and telling you how you shared personal info, you started hiding their replies so that it couldn't be seen. So not only did you up the first time when you just doxed Bruh. somebody for trolling you on Twitch chat. You then tried to play victim, and then on top of that, tried to silence people criticizing you and calling you out for it. Bro, when I saw that. I was honestly really irritated, and in a moment of weakness, I said, when I when, when you get it. <laughs> Bum, Bum, fuck out. Moment of weakness, uh, but what happened to being strong, independent, I'm strong, baby girl, I'm strong, independent. Now listen, okay, yeah, I understand, like, if you are seeing the same comments every day, it can be bad for the mental, right? It can definitely and certainly be bad, but it doesn't give you the right to dock somebody and doesn't give you the right to actually leak somebody's full legal name. You could have been like, I guess everybody knows that his name was Charlie, uh, and I'm glad that rest was muted as well by the clips. I believe it was Charlie. I don't know. You could have just said Charlie. You know, that's the first name. You know, that's what's showing up publicly over on the donation, right? You could have just said that and not say his full name. I get it, that mo moment of weakness, but but still, it doesn't give you that right to do that. A donation on your phone, name of the person pops up. So I said the person's first and last name. And I just want to point out that all I did was say his first and last name. I know that there's rumors going around that I leaked the address of the person, but I didn't. I only said that. You deadass, you deadass went into the PayPal's to find the exact letters, all the letters, and tell that, tell everybody the, why, why, yeah, full, the full name. First and last name. But looking back at it and having the time to reflect, I realized that wasn't the best way to combat the hate. And I should have played into it how I normally play into like hate comments and stuff, how I troll them back. But I didn't. And like I said, in a moment of weakness, I kind of learning and growing, learning, I'm learning, I'm growing, learning. Ah. And that's good. That's a good move. You should be learning and growing from that. And I still don't think she should be perma banned like some of uh, some of how, how y'all motherfuckers out there saying that. OK, like she shouldn't. Nobody should be perma banned unless you did like some crazy stuff. OK, and when I say crazy stuff, the type of stuff that I cannot say on YouTube. OK, you probably understand that, right? Have you all got different definition of that, that, but but you know what I mean, okay? I don't think anybody should be perma banned. But when Twitch is like, bro, we're gonna hit you up with 14 days ban, at least commit to that. At least commit to that. Or if you're gonna release her after five hours, perfectly fine. Release this man as well. This guy was just air humping. Was didn't do anything controversial. Didn't do anything bad. He simply won in Call of Duty. Started screaming USA, USA, USA. Started like doing that Triple H, uh, WWE moves. That ain't anything too bad. My homie got the clothes on. He's thick though. I do agree with that. Bruh. But but like homie got the hoodie on. Homie got like the pants on. There are Twitch streamers with like bobs hanging out. Like they, they, they licking mics and sometimes they take shove the entire mic down their throat and shit like that and they are fine apparently y'all may be y'all making categories special categories for that stuff but you're wrong because you're a man and i just said what was on my mind and i realized now that i shouldn't have done that this year has been one of the craziest years of my life and there's a lot of stuff that happened to me um you know with streaming i, I blew up I, my life has changed completely and with that came a lot of good things but then also you know the hate 
that came along with it. And I mean, like, if you go look at toxic, toxic gamers, toxic haters, my TikTok comments right now, they're mostly hate. And I do plan to it. I'm not trying to play the victim card. All right. I just once again want to point out, right? This here. is such a human thing. This is not necessarily Nadia. We all do it. So I'll take accountability for that as well. Bruh. Bruh. Like, uh, guys, uh, this is what happened to me. Look at how bad I got it. I'm not trying to play a victim card. We all do that, but it's like, bruh. bruh. Because now she's saying, oh, in a moment of weakness, I did this. I realized what I did wrong. I shouldn't have done that, you know? It, it sounds good on paper. This sounds like a decent apology, right? It sounds like she's taking accountability for what happened. She's S-tier apology or what, y'all? It's finally addressing the fact of the matter. Like, oh, hey, I did something wrong. I basically doxed somebody. There was rumors going around that she did share the guy's address. I was going to mention this in my video, but I couldn't confirm it in any of the clips yeah. that I saw. So I didn't mention that because if there's not really any proof of it, I don't want to just... Yeah, that, that's just like the word on the street. Uh, sometimes people want to make the situation stretch and want to make it like really bad that's the internet bro like th that's what i'm saying yep there are things that she did wrong but there's the internet that is like you did that too da, 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 we saw that you did that too yeah she did do something but not everything man she did not leak the address allegedly i'm still not 100 percent okay i'm Bruh. she says she didn't do it okay and also there's no clip there's no proof out there that she do it okay she did it maybe you're one maybe you're the one with your third eye open maybe you saw that she did it and if you did it come forward come forward we, we would like to have a word with you be on here saying that so i'm glad that that was kind of clarified but at the same yeah. time once again to kind of circle back to the main point i'm making here just the other day when she got banned on twitter right uh, like when it basically broke on twitter because like there's accounts that like tell you when partnered twitch follower or streamers like get banned and like people started talking about it and everything she came to twitter and played victim them and acted like she didn't know what was going on right and it's the yeah. exact same day that this video came out so within a matter of hours she randomly and wildly transitioned from playing the victim pretending she did nothing wrong hiding any criticism made against her even if it wasn't like a personal attack against her and it was just stating the facts of what happened and then basically flexing on people when she got unjustly unbanned by twitch with pretty much no explanation even though she literally violated their stated community guidelines on paper and then a few hours later when she realized like oh shit this isn't going away people are actually kind of mad about this and they're criticizing me for it and this is like kind of low-key a stain on my online career now all of a sudden we have a two and a half minute long apology video on her channel where it was a moment of weakness and she apologizes for it and she realizes she did the wrong thing usually people don't come to such a wild conclusion you know within a matter of hours so once again i just want to point out that this is only being said after the fact after you know basically she was getting cooked on social media for hours on end people were saying even big streamers like asmund gold were saying that she should actually be suspended you know asmund gold just the homie went in gang and style recently i made some comments regarding navia doxing a donator because they said she was a cheater in a video game doxing someone on twitch should result in an indefinite ban i stand by everything i said i'm actually livid that this is even a conversation and absolutely and i believe if i'm not wrong zach also asman good also got in a conversation and he also got in a in a in a controversy with another strong independent streamer that said that nadia did nothing she did the wrong she committed the haram she she actually did that bruh so asman gold is right now where i'm at i'm in the middle okay yes she deserve a ban but does she deserve a perma ban not really absolutely not at least for this for cheating situation the foot paddles thing not the foot paddles if the wall hacks things the aim bots start showing up directly on the stream perma ban i believe she's cheating i think a lot of people believe she's cheating but still like we need to see that full-blown proof on video and i understand like twitch will not ban her if they don't see that so that's like you know in the court of law you need to really present the hard evidence yep the the, the movement she makes in the video games i'm not denying the movement she's making in the video games are faster than all of the movements ufos make in the sky okay so like i do believe she's cheating but but in the court of law you need to present the hard evidence hard videos for this situation though Twitch was like 14 days banned. Motherfuckers just unbanned her after like five hours, bro. Bomba and God. that she violated the rules. Like this apology video, like let's say hypothetically, right? That this somehow flew under the radar. And like nobody called her out for this. And you know, people weren't making videos about it, shitting on her for it. There would be no apology video. It's that simple. There would be no goddamn apology. If, if this wasn't a potential threat to her career in any way, we would not be seeing this video. So is she really sorry? Is she really realizing the mistake here? I don't think so. What I'm saying is though, is I'm still trying to learn from it. I made a mistake and I do apologize to Twitch and I appreciate them for unbanning me, by the way. Oh, my God. I don't even want to, I don't even want to listen, bro. Like, I don't, I don't even want to listen, dog. Like, like, this apology video could have been, like, 10 out of 10, but 
she never apologized to the person she did that to. She just only apologized to Twitch. That's crazy. I get it. Like she's taking accountability for some some stuff. Respect for that. But if you're gonna make an apology video about a situation, you apologize to that situation and to that person. Nah, I'm only gonna apologize to Twitch. That's truly crazy, man. By the way, thank you very much. And I want to continue this. And I know when continuing this, I'm going to continue getting more hate. So I need to learn how to deal with this. And and I'm going to. I mean, don't send hate to anybody. Like, even if she's cheating or if she's not cheating, do not send hate. But at least in this situation, you could have apologized to that and person. And I appreciate though. everyone that still supports me and understands that I am human. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Like I said, I really appreciate everyone who supports me. And I'm sorry if I let you guys down today. I promise I won't do that again. And I'm still learning. All right. She specifically says here, oh, I'm not trying to play the victim card, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, that's pretty much exactly what you were trying to do. I mean, you say you're not trying to do that, but literally like eight hours before. I, I, I genuinely feel like that apology videos will never go right with anybody. Like apology videos are just like that. You can never make a good apology video. Or maybe you can by taking full accountability. I guess that's the only way. But even then... Some people will still flame you. Now, there are crazy allegations going around. You saw Air Humping, but you want to see the exact full video of what happened to that man because he got cock blocked hard. Click on it and I'll see you there.